a new double bladed lightsaber forge Darth Maul lightsaber let's take a look <laughs> All right, I've got it. It's the Lightsaber Forge Darth Maul Lightsaber. Now, here's the deal. The other day, I recorded my whole unboxing of this thing, and I didn't have the autofocus on. So, see how it focused on me? And now it focused on me again? I didn't have that on, and it was just set as a regular focus. So, my whole Darth Maul Lightsaber review did not go through. It was very blurry, but I'm going to share what I can with you. So, first things first, let's take a look at the out... Yeah. Now, let's take a look at the outside of the box. Okay, now we've got our Star Wars logo. Look at those pieces. You got horns, you've got the weird, like, Dathomiri face markings. It kind of looks a little bit like some of Maul's saber, his later saber. That's a cool look. I actually like that. There's a nice little artwork. It says Darth Maul. There he is. There's some pictures of it. The bottom, plus the center, and it's a dual core. Look at that core. It's got two caber crystals, one on the bottom, one on the top. And then there's got another cover, so it's like a double cover, dual core in the center, and the second cover. Second cap, I think is what they're calling the tops, caps, emitters, and I'm guessing two blades. Yeah, there's two blades, one red one here and one red one right up top. What does the side of the box show? It shows us it is electronic, so it will require batteries. Create, customize, you can mix this with other ones. Sorry for the blue glow, it's very green and blue here in my office right now. Uh, let's see, lightsaber forge, I should have made it red. <laughs> Master thousand of combinations. And there you go, they got a couple of the different combos there. And of course, as always, it is approved by Zero. Two, three, sad babies. Is there a barcode on here for those people who want to use BrickSeek.com? You can plug in that UPC number and see if this is available in your area. Uh, what else we got? One more side of the box here. Disney, cool little sketch. And of course, in the background, you can see Maul's face shining through there, lightsaber forge. Boom! Let's get into this thing. Okay, now as always, I did record some close-ups, so let me show you guys what those close-ups look like. Take a look, here you go. Okay, now I do want to show you guys the pieces up close, some close-ups. You can see the details here. Let me push the button. Woo! It lights up. Put the side. Similar deal. That sounded a little different, didn't it? It does sound, I mean, tell me if I'm, if I'm going crazy here, does that sound the same? I think there's slightly different sounds on each side, and I think that's really cool. Here is one of the covers, you can tell it's got some like kind of wrappings going on here, a little texture on there. And there's the button, and of course we have those kind of, kind of like the face markings on Darth Maul. That's pretty cool to see that on there, and again, you can use this in either orientation. So you choose. You can either choose to have this cap with the horns. I like that. I actually like that a lot. It's kind of cool. And they're they're they've got a neat. They're not rubbery or anything. They're hard plastic, but they're a little. They're not hard. The way this is hard. That you can tap on. It's hard. See, that's not. This doesn't tap the same way. It doesn't make this. It's like a. It's a softer plastic as the horn. Um, next up, we've got this piece. This is very mall looking. I like that. I like the look of that a lot. It's a really cool cap. And it's pretty much the same the whole way around. There's one of the holes, and the other side is the other hole. So no matter how you orient that, that's going to be the same. And same with this. I believe the markings are the same on either side, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. And we've got another cover. I like the holes here. I like the style of this. Very mall. And then the bottom, I guess the other side. Very cool. Very cool. So you can choose which part you want to have near the cap or towards the cover in the center. And, of course, we have our button. And those buttons are what touches the kyber crystal in the center. Now the back doesn't have a whole lot going on. Your battery compartment is right in the center. It takes three triple A's. And this is where your, your light and sound comes out of. Yeah, that is absolutely a different emitter sound. I love it. Let's put this thing together. Not a bad looking saber, right? So I do have some footage of it. I really do think that's such a cool addition to... Uh, have the emitter like that. Okay, that snapped right on, no problem. Let's do, I, I like that. I like that orientation where we've got the uh, the kind of face markings towards the top. And of course, oh, we gotta get our, our translucent red blades. Now these, I didn't really show close-ups of because it's a 
It's a translucent red blade. There's not a whole lot to, to kind of worry about on that. Now, this is going to be a long one. This is going to be a very long lightsaber toy. Oh, yeah, already it feels longer than any of the other ones just because the double length. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, this is just to get another electronic one out. I mean, we're... <laughs> Look at that, just from starting. The end of Vader is here. The end of Maul is up here. So already a pretty big difference, and we haven't even attached... There's still another cover. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. I'm going to not... Oh, okay. okay. Let's be careful. I'm going to try my best to actually make this video not official. A little while ago, I was actually getting out all of my blade builders. Okay, I hit the fan. Uh, <laughs> that actually scared me. Uh, wow, this is this is huge. Look at this thing. It, I, there's no way I get this on camera without ooh, without knocking into everything. Uh, I like this. This is a really cool look. Oh yeah. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, okay, it's gonna it's almost gonna be official. Oh, can I can I bring it back in? There we go. Brought it back in. That is a cool looking lightsaber. I just want you guys to to really see that. Now the length on this is this is massive. Do I have I have a tape measure? I got it just, just just for this. Actually, no, I was measuring a blade builders to see what the biggest blade builders I could build was. This is coming in at just about 68 inches. Just under 68 inches total. That is that's fully extended end to end. And let's light them up. Good. Okay. Now I do want to compare with the Vader Saber. And honestly, for me, it's it's about the same. Yeah. Yeah. It shines on my wall. It's it's the exact same as the Vader Saber as far as quality and brightness goes, which is decent. Which is actually pretty decent for this thing. I like that. I like that hum, that crunch. The fact that they used a uh Oh. There we go. Now I can turn it off. The fact that they use a unique sound for this, that that actually, I, I like that a lot. Because this is a normal sound. Normal hum. And again, this one is... That crunch. You can kind of hear it. Oh, I didn't mean to make it clash, but I'm trying to... There we go. There's the hum. You see, it's a different sound. It's definitely a different sound. Now we turn that one off. And we're going to try the other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Snap that down. And it's... Just hear that. It's a very crunchy, harsh kind of sound. Oh, yeah. That is different. I like that. That is a cool sound. It is unique. All right. No, that's pretty cool. I, you know what? Actually, I didn't get any footage of it in the dark because I already have footage of what these electronic ones look like, specifically these blades. If you want to watch my Darth Vader video, you can see what these look like. Here in the studio, you can't super tell how well that lights up, but trust me, it's pretty good. Actually, you know what? Kill the lights. Let's try now. Let's turn that one off. Is that okay? Is that kind of... Gonna, all right, no, we're killing them all. Kill all the light. Okay, how about now? We'll show it to you. Whoa, okay. So, yeah, no, it is a pretty decent glow. And as I showed the core on the inside, it's it's a double core. It is a unique dual core lightsaber. I, I actually, I, I'm pretty pleased with this thing. Uh, it's decently bright. It's not the brightest thing ever in this room, even with the other lights that I've got going on here. Ooh. But I gotta tell you guys, this is, uh, oh. I can never tell which one's on and which one's off. If you wanna know my full thoughts and everything, let me turn on the lights first. All right, guys, now if you wanna know my thoughts on this, I gotta tell you, I think this one's rad. I think this one is actually really rad. It's twice the price. At 40 bucks, or 40 and change, actually. I think I paid 42 something after tax. Came to like 45 on Amazon. And again, there is an affiliate link down below. Don't forget, using it, those links to buy anything. You don't have to buy this. But if you start on one of my affiliate links, and I always pin them in a comment, uh, it actually goes to support my channel no matter what you buy on Amazon. So if you start there, you buy socks, you buy Windex, whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to buy. 
it goes to support the channel, doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's much appreciated for those of you who use those links. But, back to the lightsaber. It's rad. Yeah, no, dude, you're right. It is right. It's really rad, actually. There's a lot of cool pieces here. The uh, caps, I want to say they call them caps, the emitters, basically. They're really neat. Like, the horns is unique. This one's very Darth Maul. The one with, like, the Dathomiri kind of red marks here looks cool, kind of like his face. It's it's a good set. I think, actually, in this... Well, yeah, you know what? That actually is one of the things that makes this super unique is the other electronic sabers, they didn't look like the character. This looks like Darth Maul. This looks like, with a little bit, a little bit of his lightsaber style, his later lightsaber style here, but really, it evokes Darth Maul himself. The Luke Skywalker one did not. And the Darth Vader one did not look like the character. They were trying to be more like a stylized version of the character's lightsaber. While the non-electronic ones were all stylized to look like the character, much like this one. I think this is a cool addition. I definitely recommend you pick it up. Amazon link down below, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, when you're commenting, let me know. I'm going to do this probably within the next week. Uh, comment which covers, which cores, which... Um, sleeves whatever i forget what they what they're all called but let me know which combination out of all of the lightsaber forge and remember i've reviewed them all now all the ones that are available so there's going to be a little link up there hit the little i button little card open it up you'll see all the videos that i've done or at least a playlist with all the lightsaber forge videos watch them let me know which combos to make and i'll i just might feature your combination in an upcoming video thank you so much for being subscribed Thank you so much for being part of the Sad Baby Squad. That's those of you who show up to the videos first because you have all notifications turned on. I appreciate you guys the most. Until next time, don't be a move milker. Be the spark. <laughs>